Welcome back, financial enthusiasts. Today, we've got a deep dive into the financial world, and we're going to dissect Stanley Black and Decker like never before. So grab your notepads, because we've got some fascinating details to explore. All right, let's kick things off with the price-to-earnings ratio or PR. Now, the trailing 12 months PR for Stanley Black and Decker is a bit elusive because they've recently faced losses. The average PR over the last five years stands at 16.59. But what's interesting is the forward PR at 21.73, suggesting some optimism for the future. Additionally, we do not have the PG ratio available either, but with a PR around the average its value would be close to 2 suggesting a little bit overvaluation to his growth prospect. Now let's talk about return on equity and return on assets. Unfortunately, the numbers here aren't looking great with ROE at minus 1.12% and ROA at minus 0.43%. It's a bit of a rough patch for Stanley Black and Decker, but can they turn it around? Continuing with the earnings per share or EPS, the heartbeat of any stock. Stanley Black and Decker's current EPS is 3.81, with a promising EPS growth projection of 13.38% over the next five years. But with the current negative ROE and ROA, it's something to keep an eye on. Now, let's talk about dividends. Stanley Black and Decker offers a dividend yield of 3.34%, and what's even more impressive is a 4.98% dividend growth over the last 10 years. However, his payout ratio is too high due to his decrease in earnings this year with some quarters with losses. Income investors, take note. Looking at the profit margins, Stanley Black and Decker has an operating margin of 1.56% and a profit margin of 0.81%. It's not the highest but let's see how they've performed in the market. The stock's performance over the last eight years has been steady, with revenue and earnings following a similar trajectory. However, despite this, the total return has been lower than the VOO, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, in the last five years, and it's in the negative territory. Now debt. The debt-to-equity ratio is at 0.81 and long-term debt-to-equity is slightly lower at 0.65. Stanley Black and Decker seems to be managing its debt levels reasonably well. Taking a glance at the market side, the company's market cap is currently at $15.05 billion. The average price return over the last 52 weeks is 16.17%. So, there's been some positive momentum. Now, the million-dollar question, what about the future? Analysts predict an average price of $99.16 in the next 12 months, representing an upside of 1.84%. However, I believe the fair value is $86.63, suggesting a potential overvaluation. It's always crucial to consider different perspectives and do your own research. And that's a wrap for today's deep dive into Stanley Black and Decker. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more financial insights, and as always, do your own due diligence. Until next time, happy investing!